Let's look at Jalen Brown's situation. He was the Celtics' best player in the finals. Probably looks around and goes, wait a minute. You've tried to trade me a couple of times now. Uh, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, it felt like he was going to be involved in those trades. He's 25, two years left on this deal. Is, is, what's, is he or was he in the long-term plans for the Celtics? Look, I think Jalen's always been part of the long-term plans for the Celtics, except if you can get a transcendent player. I mean, Jalen Brown has not been talked about in deals that would net a player the equivalent of Jalen Brown. The names you mentioned, Kawhi Leonard, which was a topic when Leonard was being dealt from San Antonio. Anthony Davis, when Davis was at the peak of his powers playing in New Orleans. Now Kevin Durant, an all-NBA guy who has four years remaining on his contract. It's just Jalen Brown is the most movable piece uh, on this roster. Now, the Celtics might be getting themselves into a bit of a pickle with Brown for, for some of the reasons that, that you talked about. I mean, Brown, even though it has been for players who are elite, has been talked about in trades every single year. I mean, you go back to Jalen Brown's draft night, Dan. He was booed. His selection was booed on draft night in Boston for, for some fans that wanted them to take Chris Dunn in that draft. So he's had kind of a roller coaster ride uh, in the city. So the Celtics have to wonder if all these trade talks have poisoned the well in a way with Jalen Brown. You saw him tweet something on Monday yeah. uh, that seemed to suggest he was a little bit frustrated. The other part of this is that Jalen Brown does have two years remaining on his contract, but it's not a contract that's likely to be extended for financial reasons. Jalen Brown took what turned out to be a below market value contract when he signed one a few years ago. And because of that, he can't turn around and sign a max level extension next summer with this team. There are limits to how much Boston can offer him mm. in an extension. They can go all out and offer him a five-year max when he hits free agency in 2024, but that's a risk. Like Jalen Brown will be an unrestricted free agent in 2024. And he could look around and say, you know what? I'm tired of all this trade talk. I want to go to a place where I can be either A, more appreciated, or B, be in a position to be the lead man on that team. I believe I have the talent to ultimately do that. And the Celtics could wind up losing him for nothing. So there are a couple of reasons why Boston might be motivated to, to get deeper into this mix.